climate changes, like this starfish. A quick survey of his environment, and he knows that it's spring. The starfish then sheds his winter coat and stores it away safe for winter. <laughs> I better call the doctor, cause I got spring fever.
you gotta be quiet or... SpongeBob, what was that? Is that horse in here? No, Mr. Krabs. I was just doing my imitation of mystery. We saw... Well, keep working on it. That was terrible. That was close. From now on, no more hijinks. Put her up! SpongeBob, where's my order? Did you look under the tray? Oh, no, I didn't. Sorry. SpongeBob, could you just get my order? They vanished. Squidward, do you think the Krusty Krab is haunted? What if they come for me next? I gotta get out of here! SpongeBob, there's no ghosts. Oh. In case you've forgotten, here's how things work. I order the food, you cook the food, then the customer gets the food. We do that for 40 years, and then we die. It's not like a pretty good deal to me. What do you say? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I hear you, Squidward. I'll be right back. Ooh, what's that? Don't tell Mr. Krabs. I've got it all under control. Now then, you were saying? Just get my order. You got it, Squidward. Ah, ghosts. <laughs> Mr. you ate my hat. Oh, Mr. you ate my spatula. You ate all the Krabby Patties. You ate the stove. You ate old man Jenkins. I don't want to be a bird. <laughs> situation going on in the kitchen. Where's our food? I'm so hungry. This is my only lunch hour. Where's old man Jenkins? Take it easy. The food's no good here anyway. Squidward, what's going on in here? Why don't you go ask Cow Bob Ranch Pants and his faithful companion, Sir Eats a Lot? SpongeBob, what's the meaning of all these nicknames? David, it's Jones! Mr. got a bellyache from eating Krabby Patties, so I made her a bicarbonate of soda. <laughs> what did I miss? So, my eyes are correct. You still have that horse after I ordered you to get rid of it. Well, now I'm going to get rid of it once and for all. No, Mr. Krabs, please don't make me give up mystery. I know you think she's just a horse, but she's more than that, I tell you. She listens to me. She understands everything I say, and I understand her. She's my best friend. <laughs> hey, who left this bowl of onions here? SpongeBob, your story has touched me hard. Believe it or not. I know what it's like to give up a best friend. You do? I was five years old. And my father gave me a dollar. I loved that dollar. Loved it like a brother. Me and that dollar went everywhere together. What happened to the dollar, Mr. Krabs? And one day, at the beach, it was so hot. And I was so thirsty. I spent it on a soda. <laughs> Sometimes you have to set things free, even though it's hard. Look at her. She misses the great outdoors, the wide open space, <gasps> the rolling green pastures. The kitchen is no place for a live horse. Huh? <laughs> All right, Mr. Krabs. I understand. <laughs> hey! Okay, girl. You're free to go. I can't keep you anymore. <laughs> hard for you to understand. But Mr. Krabs is right. You belong in the wild. Well, what are you waiting for? Can't you see I don't watch anymore? <laughs> Just get out of here, you stupid, dumb animal. <laughs> well, she's gone, and I'll never see her again. It's okay, son. You did the proper thing. She's free now, and we have no right to separate that wild animal from its natural habitat. Hey, Mr. Krabs, looks like old Mystery had an after-dinner salad.